Let me ask you a question. If you got paid this week, did you put any money away in your cash stuffing binder to save for emergencies? Well, if you did, good for you. If you didn't, stay tuned. This video is to help motivate and encourage you to start putting away for emergency in your cash stuffing binder. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you, thank you for stopping by. And if it's, this is your first time, I wanna say thank you and welcome. And if you're returning, I wanna say thank you and welcome. And today's video, we're going to be adding, I'm going to be adding to my $1,000 emergency fund cash binder, which is right here that I made from Dollar Tree. I have a video on that. You can go back and check it out, how to make a cash binder from Dollar Tree. This binder was $1.25 and I, this is a calendar where we keep up with everything that we're saving, such as you put the date, the date that you're saving, you put, I'm using these stickers. You don't have to use stickers. You can take a pen and write the amount that you put in. I just thought that would be a little fun. Sometimes we need to have a little laughter. And these are pencil pockets that I'm putting the money in. This one is for $100 bills, $50 bill, 20, 10, and fives. And what is this one for? Let me see. I forgot. But anyway, that's what these are for. And this one is for miscellaneous. Okay? So, every payday, I'll be adding money to this, which this week was a payday for me. And I've been trying to get this money in here all week. Been so, so busy. I've been trying to get this video done all week. So, I decided today you need to get it done because you had a payday this week. And then I'll have another payday next week from my side hustle. This week was from my nine to five job. Okay. And every payday I'll be adding money here. And the goal is to have a thousand dollars saved by the end of this year, which a thousand dollars is not that much money. And uh we have October, November, December. That's not that long. And if you can do more do more if you can if you can't do that much do less but do something it is good to have some money for emergencies because like i was saying i was finding that whenever emergency was coming up it was when i didn't have any money so that taught me put something away now this doesn't mean okay i'm gonna put this disclaimer out here this doesn't mean that you stop paying your credit card bills your you stop trying to get out of debt. It doesn't mean that you don't pay your gas bill, your electric bill, all your utility bills, your rent, mortgage, whatever you have to pay. You still take care of what you have to take care of. But I had just made up in my mind. I didn't care what was due. I was going to put some money to, to the side. And you know what? This week here, I did have an emergency. My circuit breaker box went out. Now, and that required an electrician. And no way a thousand dollars was gonna cover that. But thankfully, thankfully, I have somebody that was able to do that for me for free. But we don't always have that. So I got my circuit breaker box um changed out for free. Okay. If you have someone to do things, that's fine, but it's good to put away just in case. And this video is to motivate and encourage someone to start putting away money for emergency funds because you never know what's going to happen. And like I said, this was the payday this week. So this is my binder that we're going to be putting the money in. And here I have the money. This was a little container that I got from Dollar Tree also. We're going to put in $150 this week. That's 100, a 20, a 20, and two fives. That's $150. Now, we've already added on October 5th, $200. And October 
eight sixty dollars so that was two hundred and sixty dollars and once we add this hundred and fifty dollars that's going to be four hundred and ten dollars see it adds up but we need to learn how to be patient and consistent and don't touch the money unless it's for emergency only okay and um now i could have said well i'm gonna do a larger amount because i know i can do a larger amount but i'm trying to help those who don't have that much money to show that you need to still put away something no matter how much you make i have another video coming up after this one i already filmed it but i'm just i'm gonna put it up tomorrow but anyway that is the goal so what we're gonna do We got our envelope, I mean our um, calendar here. And these are stickers. Now you don't have to do these. These are stickers that I'm putting on the date. Each sticker represents a certain color. So like this one is $100, 50, 20, 10, five, and one. I just did that to be, to do some, have sun. So, okay, today we're in, let me show you the money that I've already put in is still here. This is the $100 bill. So you got to be disciplined and you got to have patience. This is the $100 bill from the October 5th that I put in here. Okay. And this is uh, on October 5th. And October, uh, what was that? 8th. Oh, no, October 5th. I put a, a $50 bill in here. Okay. And that's still there. Okay. And then I had added, and I still have $60 in here from when I put some money in from October 5th and October 8th. Okay. And this is the money from October 8th and October 5th. October 5th and October 8th. It was, I had, I put 10 one time and then 10 the other time. That was $20 there. Add it up to 20, 210. Okay, and then I have put $5 on October 5th and October 8th. Okay, I just wanna let you see, the money is still here. And then I have put some ones in here. I think I just put these in on the 8th. I think these are 15 ones, $15, okay? And that money is still there. And then on October 8th, I added a $5 to this one, which would be miscellaneous in case I need to use, use it. So that's what I said I'll do. I'll put some little extra money in case I need to use it for something. So, but today we're not gonna put anything in miscellaneous. I get paid next week, which is my side hustle. So that's what we're gonna do. So, today I got a $100 bill, and it's going in a $100 bill pocket, okay? Making that a total of $200. And what we'll do is we'll put that color sticker there. See that kind of pretty pink one? I don't know if you can see really good. And... But what I, what I can do also, I know I'm gonna have $150 for today, which is the 14th, and I'll just write 150 on there. I'm not putting dollar signs on here in case somebody ever gets this calendar. So anyway, but I'm going to add my sticker for today. This is called Happy Happy Emergency Fund Savings Day. Okay, then, you see I put a 100, I mean, uh, that color sticker for a $100 bill. 
Okay, let's put this tag in here and close it up. Okay, then we got two 20s. Okay. Which is going to go in this $20 pouch here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is a 50. Okay, no, that's the wrong pouch. Let's close this one up. Okay, then here's the $20 pouch right here. Now, look, you don't have to do it this way. And the reason why I chose these pencil pockets because you can't see the money. And that means out of sight, out of mind. And it really does work. I've actually forgot about this. You know, it don't even come to my mind that I have this money. So we need to put for 20 this blue sticker. And all of this came from Dollar Tree. Which everything is not a dollar anymore, it's a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so we need to put two blue ones because I put two $20 bills in here. Okay. And see, I added two blue. And then what do we say we had now? What I think I'm gonna do, yeah, okay. And then we got two $5 bills that's gonna go in the $5 bill pouch. Okay, this one was 20. Let's put that in there and close this up. And what I do, rather than leaving this laying out on a desk or something, I put this in a safe. I have a safe. I'll leave a link in the description to a safe if you wanna order it on Amazon. Okay, that's the $10 pouch. I'm not adding to it today, so we'll close it up. I think it's important to have your valuables in a safe. Okay, and these, this is the $5, $5 pouch. And I'm adding, I already had $10 in there. I'm adding another two fives in there. And for the $5 one, we have this kind of bronze color right here. Okay. Let's see, we need the two. Okay. Uh -oh. I don't know what I'm sticking up. Okay, so see, we have two. Now, all of this totaled up to $150, and I can just maybe put it there so I can see it. Uh, this is 100. What was this? Uh, 20, 20, 5, and 5. Okay, so I just wrote it down there 150, 100, 20, 20, 5, and 5. See? Okay, this is just to help me. Um, so like if I need to know how much did I put in on this day, I put 200 on this day, 60 on here and 150, which totaled up to $410. So see how it adds up and those, and those three times I did this. So, uh, like I said, I'll get paid again next week, this week. And I'll do this again. So, this is Happy Happy Emergency Fund Savings. <laughs> okay, we didn't add anything to our ones. And we didn't add anything to the miscellaneous. Now, and I didn't put anything in the clear one. I think I may add, put receipts or something in there. Or some kind of notes. Just to kind of help me. Okay, so, that's all I have. And I encourage you, I'm trying to motivate you, put some money to the side every payday, every time you get some money, if somebody give you something, take some of it and put it to the side. 
or say I'm going to take out 10%, I'm going to take out 5%, I'm going to take out 3% of my income. Or if you don't have that much, take out something. Because like I said, I had an emergency this week. My circuit breaker had to be replaced. But like I said, thankfully, and I'm grateful that I have someone to fix it for me for free. You know, you never know what's coming up. And it's a horrible thing to not have any money. It's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and trying to go to people which are living from paycheck to paycheck. They don't have it, but it's up to us to do this for ourselves. You know, we don't want to be a burden on nobody. At least I don't like to be a burden on nobody. That's one reason why I get out here and I work and I do what I do. I work a nine to five job. I have a side hustle and I'm doing YouTube too. That's not the side hustle that I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I do whatever it takes because it's like this. Talk is cheap. It takes money to buy land. Is that right? Yes, it does. You can be talking all talking as much as you want, saying I want to do this, I want to do it. But when you don't have, if you don't have any money, you can't do a lot of things. Money answered all things. Yes, it does. Okay, so thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. And like I said, this is Happy Happy Emergency Fund Savings Day, <laughs> where we'll be. I'll be adding money to my cash stuffing binder every week okay and then i'll be giving ideas and tips on ways to save money okay i got a couple of those too so stay tuned for that video okay thank you for stopping by i hope this video was helpful and if it was i'm just asking that you please like comment subscribe and share this video so someone else can get some helpful tips to help them start saving or to motivate them to start saving. I mean, I'm not putting this way, this money to save to be rich, but to, for emergencies. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.